And I'll talk a little weather. Of course, we'll get to Aaron with sports in a minute, but I'll talk a little sports. But, of course, Panthers training camp is going on this Thursday, 9.25 a.m. If you're heading to watch it, it looks like it's going to be a nice morning, but the afternoon will turn stormy. Temperatures in the 70s, a little on the muggy side, but really not too bad all in all. Good time to be out there watching uh, the Panthers take the field. And you can see we don't have a whole lot left on Fox Radar 3D. We've had a rumble of thunder in the southern part of uh, Rutherford, County, spotty light showers for many upstate spots, and then the heavy thunderstorm that was over Clemson falling apart. So if you've been wanting to go to bed and you're like, gosh, it's been so loud, too hard to do it, now you can finally rest easy because all that thunder is done. Can't completely rule out another thunderstorm developing, but we're on the downswing. Not going to see a whole lot more of that activity through the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning for your commute, temperatures will be in the 60s, so it's that first couple hours of the morning that'll feel somewhat refreshing. Get a good to get out for the walk, get the dog out, because by the afternoon, it's going to start to get hot. In fact, just by lunchtime in downtown Greenville, 85 degrees should be rain-free, but you can see We've got clouds building. Here comes the rain, though. As we head toward late afternoon, uh, the, this computer model picking up those raindrops just north of town, but really could be anywhere. We'll start to see those scattered storms developing because of the heat of the day. They will be random. This particular model, though, puts down some fairly heavy rain over Greenville right at 8 o'clock. So if you have plans to go to dinner tomorrow night, bring the umbrella just in case. Could have some wind with that, too, since you're kind of seeing that uh, horizontal rain just about coming down during around the 8 o'clock hour, and those storms can pack gusty winds. We're giving it a 7 on the Carolina Sky Meter. It gets a passing grade since the morning will be okay, afternoon rain won't be everywhere, and at least the heat will not be out of control. It'll be very similar to what you would expect for this time in early August. Or at least that's where we'll be tomorrow, August 1st. On Futurecast, in the morning looks completely clear. Afternoon, that's when the storms start to blow up pretty quickly. In fact, heavy rain for the southwestern mountains in northeast Georgia at 4 p.m. That slides into the upstate during the evening. So between about 3 and 9 p.m. will be our best chance of getting some rain. I think some of those storms could pack gusty winds and hail. Severe threat shouldn't be terribly high tomorrow, though. Heading into the Friday time frame, morning looks dry. Here comes the afternoon. More storms. In fact, some heavy downpours will be around, and those could linger into portions of the evening. Now, we are watching the tropics. We have a disturbance in the Caribbean that's become extremely disorganized, but could help to send some moisture up toward Florida over the next few days. Just about a 10% chance of that becoming tropical. Now, this way out just off the coast of Africa, but now it has a 70% chance of becoming tropical in the next five Five days would be Chantal. Right now, the computer models basically take it across the Atlantic and then recurve it so it does not end up impacting the U.S., but it's something we'll watch oh so closely for you over the next several days. And next several days here, well, they're not going to have a tropical system, but there will be a decent chance of rain just about every single day. Best chances will be late afternoon and evening. Temperatures remain fairly unchanged, upper 80s to mid 80s expected. Of course, you can check in on the morning news from 4 30 to 9 for the latest on your forecast as you're stepping out the door.